Welcome to our platform security video. And in this section, we're going to cover what platform security is, what components are covered in platform security, and also, most importantly, why we should care about this. By the end of this module, you should be able to understand what platform security is, understand the importance of hardware, software, network, and also data protection. Then we'll talk about a holistic approach to platform security. So what is platform security? You might probably have used a lot of computer components out there and they are part of platform security. All right, so for us, platform security encompasses any tools, processes, architectures that protect an enterprise's entire computing platform. And that includes the hardware pieces, software, networks, and data. So how do we protect these components? Starting with hardware. This is how we can actually protect physical computing infrastructure, including servers, workstations, mobile devices like a phone that most people use and tablets, and also anything that is physically plugged in on the network against cybersecurity threats. You see, a lot of companies out there, they have physical devices either in the hands of their end users, people who are actually using computing infrastructure, or that are running the services that they are offering. For example, a company can have a website that is running. That website might be running in physical infrastructure or in a cloud environment. All these pieces need to be protected against cybersecurity threats, and hardware is a very big part of that. Later in the module, we'll tell you about how other companies have been compromised through hardware. And most importantly, we'll show you how you can actually harden and secure them and mitigate cyber threats. The next part of this is going to be software security. A lot of companies write custom software, CICD pipelines, where they are automating things using software. They might be running applications like websites that I mentioned earlier that are running software stacks that needs to be protected. So we need to make sure that we have a good understanding of our software footprint, what do we have in terms of software, and then we can protect it. And that might include operating systems, any applications that we have, middleware that might be running on computing platforms like hypervisors, and we can also include vulnerability management and make sure that we have training for our users so that they can have best practices as they deploy these solutions. So with software, we're making sure that anything that is not hardware that is installed or that is managed is actually secure. Later in these modules, we'll actually show you how you can secure software applications, software stacks, and most importantly, we can show you how to identify these vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. Then network security. This is my area of expertise. I enjoy talking about networks. So you learn more about networks in this course as well. But this is making sure that all mechanisms, this is mechanisms to protect the communication channels and interconnection between components of computing platforms, such as firewalls, intrusion detections, and prevention systems, and any protocols. So we're talking about making sure that as data leaves your network from a computer over the wire to the internet is secure, and also back and forth. And data that is within the infrastructure, as long as there's a network that includes Wi-Fi, um, any phone services, or local area network traffic. And I'll teach you more about networking in the networking section so that you understand what network communication works. But as part of platform security, we want to make sure that network communications are secure and that things are actually set up to work properly. We truly care about data at rest and data in motion. And on the network side, as data is moving in motion, we want to make sure that it's transferred securely. All these pieces really point down to data protection. You want to make sure that your data is very safe and secure. And at the end of the day, attackers want to get to your data and you want to protect your data. And you want to protect your data by making sure that you have comprehensive protection. That means that end-to-end -end protection. When data is at rest, it's protected. When data is in motion, it's protected. If you do get compromised, you want to make sure that the detection time, the amount of time that it takes you to detect these attackers is actually shortened. So you want to identify these attacks as fast as possible. Then you want to have control and visibility. 
what you, do you do we mean by this? You can actually watch your environment. Just like people have security cameras in their house, you want to be able to visualize what's going on in that environment. That means being able to see what is actually deployed in your infrastructure and you can monitor it. In a later module, I will show you how you can deploy monitoring and have visibility so you can see the logs in your computer systems. And most importantly, we want to make sure that things are as simple and clear as possible. So you want to reduce complexity whenever possible. At the end of the day, you and I as cybersecurity professionals, we care about mitigating threats. We cannot stop attacks from happening. However, we can do whatever we can and mitigate these threats. And that means that we are protecting our data against any form of attacks that might affect the confidentiality of the data, the integrity of the data, or availability of the data. This is going to be in our next module where we talk about best practices and cybersecurity essentials. But I wanted to mention it here that this is what we care about in cybersecurity. Confidentiality, integrity, and availability.